Principle of recognition of QR code. QR code, it just looks like a picture of a bunch of squares, right? But inside this little square, there's digital signal processing, geometric analysis, and did you know that it also includes error recovery technology used in spacecraft? First, the camera looks for the three large squares in the QR code, the position detection pattern. This pattern is easily found in almost any environment. Whether the QR code is tilted, flipped, or far away, let me calculate exactly where the camera is up and down. Then the distortion correction starts. The camera analyzes the angle of the QR code and the dents. I used a technology called perspective transformation. Spread the QR code flat as if you saw it from the front. That's why you can recognize QRs on walls, cups, and curved surfaces. Now, the real data in the QR code is red. It's not just a sequence of data. It starts at the bottom right, and it's spread out in a zigzag path. It needs to be scattered like this, partly contaminated or scratched, but the damage doesn't get concentrated in one place. But the real point is the Reed-Solomon error correction algorithm. This technology was originally used in satellite communications and CDs. QR codes also use this. Thanks to this, even if up to 30% of QR codes are hidden, Mathematically, you can reconstruct the original data and restore it completely. Lastly, the masking stage is applied. Make sure your data doesn't accidentally create black or white tipping. Pick one of the eight patterns automatically. It's the most recognizable balanced form. After all, QR codes are not just black and white drawings. Mathematics, geometry, signal processing, and error recovery technologies are combined. It's a little scientific device, 